Welcome to another DP Hammer video. In today's video, we're going to be going over the Prover Offline Controller. Now, I've seen people say, this controller is a piece of junk, it's a waste of time, it just sits in the drawer and I never see it again. Well, when I was first setting up my 3018, yes, I had it hooked up via USB to a laptop. And I was calibrating it, figuring out by its speeds and feeds. But once I got those dialed in, the offline controller became my best friend. Important note here, you cannot have the offline controller and the machine hooked up via USB at the same time. It's not going to work. Only one can be hooked up at a time. Okay? Second, on the SD card, you're going to need to make sure you have two files, probe and spindle laser. Those need to be on there for the offline controller to work. We will be using the offline controller today uh, without the probe. We will be using the paper method to set our Z. We will be using a drag bit, a three millimeter end mill, and a one millimeter end mill. But before we get into all that, I need to clean up from my last cut and remove it. So let's get going with that. All right, so all cleaned up and I have moved my XYZ to the max opposite direction of my machine's home. During cleaning, I broke the metal tab of my limit switch but luckily there is still enough for it to work. When I'm cleaning up, I'll use paper towels, brushes, shop vac, uh, air compressor. I have applied my Super Lube PTFE to the threaded rods. And now I just press home and it will distribute the lube across all my threaded rods. Now I'm just getting the acrylic ready. You're going to use the tape met method in this. Uh, first bit up is going to be the 90 degree uh, spring loaded drag bit. So here we'll be back in control. Um, we're going to use the zero XYZ, the probe and the zero XY that's the two you would use if you were using the Pro, but since we're using the paper, we're going to use 0XYZ. All right, so now we're going to get our Y and Z lined up. And if you hit the step, you can start changing it. It goes 0 0.1, 1, 10, and 100 millimeters. And you just use the controls there to get it on the corner what you'll notice here is I have mine in the top left if you watch my acrylic video you'll notice I use bottom left um, do want to point out my X is flipped that way I don't have to go flipping uh, text or anything on the acrylic when it engraves right now it will look backwards but that's going to be the back so it'll be the right side when you're looking through the front of it so here just trying to get get it down far enough before I put a paper underneath there, making sure I'm good on all the sides and as close to the corner as I can get. Then just keep dropping it until the paper catches. All right, there, got it caught and not sticking to the painter's tape. And then I'm going to go down three more uh steps on this and then i'll hit the enter button on the x y z a couple of times and then a hard long press on the enter to go back to the main menu then i uh hit the z up two millimeters which is my retract height okay now we'll go to file go to the detail there it is last one just hit select until you get down to it enter now see it says stop, press enter again, running, press enter again, pause, press enter again, running. I uh, could fix that up in G code, just I normally don't. I think it's a good, did I tighten everything? Did, is everything set really the way I want? So for me, that little bit of pause makes me double think and make sure I did everything like set the X and zero in the G code to go back to home when everything's done. Also, first time in this is using 
the engraving tool to do a pocket. I think it came out pretty good. I always turn off my machine and then turn it back on. All right, so then we raise it. We'll take off the drag bit. We're putting it on a three millimeter end mill now. And again here, we're going back to the zero XYZ and we'll lower it down till the it catches on the paper. Once it catches, moved it uh, over to 0.1 millimeter and went down just a couple. That way it is totally flat. Hit the inner, long inner to get out of it again. Jog the Z up two for the retract height. And we'll go find the pocket and run that. Okay, now we're switching. We switched. We switched out the three millimeter for a one millimeter. And again, we just go back and set the zero X, Y, Z. So it is really easy using the controller. It's a great way. Again, paper method, very simple. Once it catches, um, I go down 0.1 twice after it catches and get a ver uh, very good clean cut. Cuts down just to the backer, uh, paper backing. Sometimes it busts through it just a little bit, but don't really have an issue there. Now, the reason I went uh, changed between the three and the one millimeter was this rose had a lot of small intricate parts. If I did the three millimeter, it was going to leave a bunch, there was going to leave acrylic in between the petal and the flower and didn't really want that. Wanted a lot of detail through cutting. Uh, before I take it off course, go through, uh, use a vacuum, get everything off that I can. And then here's the finished piece. I think it came out pretty well. Valentine's Day gift for my wife and this rose will never wilt. It's acrylic. So that wraps it up for this video. Remember, if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment. And if you want to see when the new videos come out, hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching and keep making stuff.